In this video, we are going to talk about a couple different parts of a polygon, and I'm going to go over angle measures for different sided polygons. First, let's talk about edge. So an edge is the line segment on the boundary of a polygon. If we were to have a triangle, there are three line segments or three edges that make up the boundary of that polygon. A quadrilateral has four edges. So think of an edge like a side of a polygon. Next, we're going to go over vertex, or vertices. A vertex is the point at which edges meet, and when you have a multiple number of vertex, it's referred to as vertices. For a triangle, we have three vertices. A vertex where one edge meets the second edge, a vertex where the second edge meets the third edge, and a vertex where the third edge meets the first edge. On a quadrilateral, you can see that we will have four vertices because the edges touch or meet in four different places. Now let's go over angle measures for polygons with a different number of sides. First, let's talk about a triangle. The angles on a triangle, so that would be the interior angles, add up to be 180 degrees. So the sum of all the interior angles of a triangle are 180 degrees. A quadrilateral will have four interior angles, and those interior angles will add up to 360 degrees. A pentagon is a five-sided figure, and those interior angles will add up to be 540 degrees. The interior angles of a hexagon would add up to be 720 degrees, and so on all the way up to n-con. There is a specific formula for figuring out what the interior angles should sum up to be using the number of sides in the formula. We know that an n-con has n sides, so we just take the number of sides, subtract 2, and then multiply by 180 degrees. So for instance, a triangle has 3 sides. 3 minus 2 is 1, 1 times 180 is 180 degrees. Skipping on to a pentagon, a pentagon has 5 sides. 5 minus 2 equals 3, and 3 times 180 equals 540. And that's how to calculate what the interior angles should add up to be for any sided polygon. If the polygon is regular, meaning that all the angles are congruent, then you just divide the sum of all the interior angles by the number of sides. So for a triangle, if it's a regular triangle, you just take 180 degrees and divide it by 3, and that will give you 60 degrees. Three hundred sixty degrees divided by 4, because it's a quadrilateral, would give you 90 degrees. So a regular quadrilateral, which would be a square, is 90 degrees. A regular pentagon, having five sides, you divide 540 by 5, and you get 108 degrees. So a regular pentagon would have five angles, each measuring 108 degrees. A hexagon, 720 divided by 6, would be 120 degrees. And so on. So to find the individual angle measure for an n-gon, knowing that it's regular, 
you would just divide this formula by n. And that would help you calculate the individual angle. However, regular or irregular, each polygon that has three sides will add up to be 180. Each polygon that has four sides, 360. Each five-sided polygon will add up to be 540 degrees. Each hexagon will add up to be 720 degrees, and so on. Regardless of whether it is regular or irregular.